हेलो गाइस, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टू रियली इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स दैट इज द एम एफ डी मोड फील्ड डायमीटर एंड द स्पॉट साइज बोथ ऑफ दैम आर रियली इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू हैव द इन डेप्थ एनालिसिस ऑफ बोथ ऑफ दैम एंड इफ यू हैव स्टिल नॉट वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियोज इट इज हाईली रिकमेंडेड इट गो बैक वॉच ऑल ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियोज इन द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन एंड देन कम टू दिस वीडियो सो लेट स्टार्ट आर टॉपिक ऑफ द डे दैट इज एम एफ डी और मोड फील्ड डायामीटर एज द नेम सजेस्ट इज अ डायामीटर which is related to the field so now whenever i want to find out the actual diameter of the field including the evanescent field right so what is evanescent field the field that is propagating inside the cladding so if i want to find out the actual diameter of the field including the evanescent field i will be using the term mfd right the core will be carrying some field inside it but we know that some evanescent field is also present in the cladding we have to find out the diameter including the evanescent field to get a more accurate electrical representation of the field so i can say mfd is going to give me more accurate representation of the electric field so now when i am considering that i am operating inside the cut off wavelength or i am not breaching the cut off wavelength so when i am working on the cut off wavelength or less than that i will be following the gaussian curve for the field so this is how our field graph would be looking like here on the y axis we have e of r and at the x axis we have the distance from the center so here we will be having the center of the core that is the axis of the core and this is how i can represent the r right so it is a distance from the axis of the core so now you can see i have made a gaussian curve which is a bell like curve we all know what is a gaussian curve it will be having the maxima at the center which is represented as e not and at the both of the side it is decaying exponentially and it is looking like a bell so it is called the gaussian curve so now mfd is found out using the point where the field is reduced to 1 upon e so now field would be e not into 1 upon e which would be e not upon e so at this point my field would be 1 upon e at this point also my field would be 1 upon e right because the core is symmetric with respect to the axis of the core so at this point as well as at this point i will be having the field to be e not upon e so the diameter in between these two points is giving me the mfd the mode field diameter right so now what about the power so power is going to reduce as 1 upon e square field is reducing as 1 upon e the power is reducing as 1 upon e square so 1 upon e is the 0.37 right so i can say when e not goes to 0.37 e not i will be getting the point where i have to find out the mft or the power is reduced to 1 upon e square that is 0.135 i will be getting the point right so here i have drawn the point at 2 and minus 2 micrometer so what would be the diameter it would be 4 micrometer this is my electrical diameter i am again saying it is not the diameter of the core right it is going to tell me till which point i will be having a significant amount of electric field which is propagating in the optical fiber now i have approximated the field by the gaussian curve for the ideal condition when i am working below the cut off wavelength right so mfd is given by 2 omega not where omega not is the nominal half width of the input excitation right so now here we will be getting nominal half width here at 2 micrometer and here at minus 2 micrometer so with the help of omega not i will be finding out the mfd 
so now this is the mfd which is for the single mode optical fiber now when i am working with the multi mode optical fiber then the mfd will be becoming slightly greater than 2 omega naught right so it will be slightly larger for the multi mode fiber right and now real fibers are not strictly gaussian and i have considered this gaussian curve only for the fibers which are at the cutoff frequency now whenever we have the real characteristics now in the real characteristics we are not having the strictly gaussian function and it is defined by some eight definition out of these eight definition a real definition which is based upon the second moment of the electric field it is defined by the partman second definition which was considered by itut so now what this does this word mfd is going to tell me it is going to show me how many losses are present so it is going to tell me the field losses whenever we are launching some light into the uh, fiber or whenever we are joining the fiber right so how many losses are present it is going to tell me the losses which are there when i am micro bending the fiber as well right so these two are very important losses it is going to tell me the dispersion losses as well and it is going to tell me the width of the field as i have told you it is the area where the maximum of the field is present it is going to tell me the width of the radiation pattern inside the fiber as well so i hope you understood the significance of the mft right so now coming to the spot size spot size is another parameter which is found using mft only and it is going to tell me at which location the which particular location i am going to get the field the maxima of the field so it is used to estimate the core radius or the diameter because most of the field which is present is inside the core only i know only the evanescent fields are present inside the cladding and when i will be measuring the field so let's see here i will be having the maxima this is how i have measured the field this is the field pattern over here right so the maxima of the field is present here and from here i can say if the maxima of the field is present here this would be my core and from here i can find out the core diameter or the core radius because most of the field is existing inside the core only only the evanescent field is present in the cladding so i hope you understood both of these topic in a really great manner if you have any doubt related to these topics you can put the doubt in the comment and i will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible i hope you like this session if you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel and also do share it with your friends and please give me your valuable feedback also thank you so much